Mike had an old man injury. Well, my hip. Yes. <laughs> hurts. It's such a beautiful day here today in Sandpoint. We decided to do a beach day. have made it to our destination, boondocking, completely off grid in this basically an acre of a campsite on my brother's property in uh, Sandpoint, Idaho. We've been here once before, a couple years back. I can link that video above, but this time it's different. This time my sisters also from Ohio have made the trek by either flying or driving their RVs. So we've got two other campers here and my other sister and her husband they flew into town yesterday so we are all having kind of like a mini family reunion here so far our solar has been kicking butt of course we picked this spot because we knew it would get a lot of sunshine but really it's these two panels these portable panels that have really made a huge difference because when the morning sun comes up these are picking up the sun way before the roof solar panels are. I think we're going to do some exploring today and do some Jeep things. We are parked at the top of Schweitzer Mountain, and you can just see out forever. You can ride the chairlift for 30 bucks a person. Yeah, I'm not paying $60 to go up there. It would look cool though. And there's a trail yeah. right over there. Actually, it starts right here, the nature trail, but it goes up. straight up the mountain I'm broken right now yeah mike had an old man injury well my hip yes <laughs> hurts very bad it does we were in the the creek and i like slipped on a rock i didn't even slip hard just kind of oh caught myself and now i can't walk or anything it right so bad it's crazy so our normal hiking couple is not gonna hike i didn't even wear my my boots i just wore regular shoes <laughs> there's a set of stairs to get up here i barely made it i know but there are plenty of restaurants and things to do up here. So while the rest of the clan is hiking or going up the chairlift, we will be partaking and maybe getting lunch or a, a beer or something like that. We were at the, not quite the top of Schweitzer Mountain, but we went to the, the village that they have there and just kind of walked around, got a magnet for the uh, RV and took some scenic pictures. They do have a chairlift like we showed and you can do some hiking or mountain biking. There's a lot of serious mountain bikers up there. crazy jeep hair <laughs> it was so clean and pretty and then we went on a jeep ride and it's all crazy
What are you doing in here, Pipes? Right, we'll go on a Jeep ride. Just chilling. Okay. Well, I guess today we are going to go pick some blueberries and then maybe do some baking with those afterwards. I just <laughs> like to eat them, but I'm okay with baking too. I think Mike is going to stay here and dog sit, but you know, as you can see, you guys just following right behind me. <laughs> So far the Liberty blueberry is my favorite and I'm pretty sure I have eaten way more blueberries than I should have. I'm positive I have blueberries just all over my teeth, <laughs> but it was worth it because these are delicious. And I've got a, as much as I want in my bucket. Probably just use them to eat, maybe bake, but I really like just to munch. This one's just loaded up. Well, this is my haul. That's a big old bag of blueberries. This cost me six dollars, yeah, so which good. really isn't bad, like at all. Yeah, and they're and fresh. That many of them. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's quite a bit. I can't remember the the poundage, but it's. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but they're delicious. These are Liberty, so you should try them. They're real big and juicy. Looks like we're going somewhere. Oh, I guess I gotta put my seatbelt on. Huh? Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> we don't have doors or a top. The Jeep is naked today. Yes, and the Jeep has stayed naked for many days now. I don't think it's ever been this naked this long. No, it's been kind of nice too because taking it apart and putting it together is kind of a pain. Yeah. With a hard top. That's why yes. I hate hard tops. I know. Maybe I'll get a soft top, but I think we are going to go into town and we'll probably have to go to the store, restock on some things. Um, get lunch. Get lunch for sure. There's a, a place that we've been wanting to check out. And so that's what we're gonna do. All right, seatbelt pen. I know. She makes it look so easy. I would hurt my back and my <laughs> knees. And your hips? Yeah. <laughs> it's getting dark out. Time for a campfire. Guy is ready on his bed. Yeah. Alright, I'm wore out. Piper's not. <laughs> She don't got you. Yep. She's all like, now you're like me, injured. <laughs> That's 
a darn nice biscuit on a stick. Oh, super nice. I wish I could say I made this. I filled it, <laughs> but I did not make it. Can't wait to eat it though. It's a good biscuit on a stick. <laughs> It's such a beautiful day here today in Sandpoint. We decided to do a beach day, give it a try. I don't know how long we'll make it, but the water looks pretty clear. I had to put a bunch of sunscreen on Mike so that he doesn't die. Oh, that's not too bad at all. You say it's not too bad, it's cold. It's really clear. Yeah, look at look at this. This is just as clear as that water we saw down in Florida. That was very clear water too. Yeah. It doesn't look like proper beach attire. It's, it's under here. <laughs> okay. Day was a success. It was good. But something happened. Mike gave me two warnings so far. So we are on our way to get some food so that he doesn't get hangry. Level two. Dog drinking water right on cue. Right on cue. That is a giant onion. Look at the size of this thing. This is doing it. I wanted an onion, but I only wanted to buy one onion because I'm making Philly cheese steaks. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy one big onion. And <laughs> I think I found probably the biggest onion I've ever freaking seen in my life. Only in Idaho. Yeah. Got all my stuff prepped, ready to go. I'm gonna take it over to my sister's camper and cook it on their Blackstone just because the amount is a lot more than I normally do for Mike and I on our little Weber grill. So for ease, I'm going to do it over there. This is the first time I'm ever using a Blackstone. I've always kind of been a little anti-Blackstone. I don't have anything against them. I just prefer what I have. But for a large amount of people, I'm gonna use my sister's Blackstone, so let's see how this goes. Oh man, this baby's hot. Oh, guess, guess I can't even do that right. There we go. Oh yeah, looks pretty seasoned. How is it? It's excellent. It's very good. Maybe your best work yet. Really? Yeah. 
you think it was me, the Blackstone, or the fact that I used different melty cheese? Well, if you think about it, if I used the Blackstone, would it come out this good? I don't know. That actually would be a good test. <laughs> it's not the Blackstone, it's the operator. It looks like you have all the dog's attention though, especially R2. Something tells me Piper had a big, good day. She found herself asleep on the couch, just like this. My Jeep is all dressed again. She is no longer naked. It looks pretty sad. Wraith is all getting packed up. It's been probably one of our longest stays in one spot for for how many years? Like we've never done something this long. <laughs> seven days of dry camping running off the solar. Yeah, and it did great. But now we gotta get this baby out of here through that same little opening as before. So, see if you can do it, Mikey. It's a tight, tight fit. tight fit especially with that exhaust pipe sticking out right off the side here she goes i must say this has been probably our favorite campsite to date there's one big open field with such pretty trees around it we got all the solar we needed all the privacy we needed loved it rapid lightning resort two thumbs up for sure you look at this tire wearing a little weird here on the Ooh, shoulder yeah i can see that one there's multiple places there's one there's a couple there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swap these steer tires side for side to see if it's the tire or if there's something in the front end because if i swap the tires which the other tire is fine and then it wears again on this side then there's a problem right i've seen tires do this before where they were just junk tires that's what I'm hoping for. It's yeah. just a junk tire. We're both hoping for junk tires. Probably the best tire on the whole, whole camper. That's good. At least we know this one looks really dang good before we put it over there. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, you had it lined up just right. She said. <laughs> The angle of the bedangle is right on. So it's a full battery. I guess this is the real MVP today. It is. I'm so glad you actually brought that. I didn't, I was like, I hope you brought that when you said you want to change tires. Yeah. And I know people are going to ask, no, I'm not putting a torque wrench on it. Tight is tight. It's good. It's is good. it, what, um, you said that's capable of 1200? I think so. And the torque on those lug nuts, the spec is 450 to 500 foot pounds. Yeah. I guess we will be heading on our way going to Montana as we exit Idaho. But Idaho was an awesome time. Always is. Yeah. And I had a great time with family and catching up with everyone. Mostly everyone is from Ohio, except for my brother, sister, law and nephew. But dogs are all ready to go. Piper is going to be in a state of puppy depression, I think, because she had the best time here. So, bye. Oh, till next time. See ya. Hopefully we can fit. <laughs> oh my gosh!